Thanks for joining us here in DevNet Day. I'm Sylvia Spiva, and now please welcome our friend, Greg. Hi, I'm Greg Brunn. I'm a solutions architect with Force3. Um, and over the last, I would say, year, you know, I started dabbling into Python and, you know, learning XML, JSON, um, YAML, and kind of playing around with what I could automate within my own workflow. Um, I've also built some basic chat box and done API calls, so it's I'm still in the learning phase and definitely, um, you know, going after the DevNet CCNA cert and having a lot of fun studying in the process. So if you're, John McDonough always says, if you're doing it more than once, you should probably automate it. Can you share with us anything you've automated that's made things easier for you now? Yeah, so one of the things that I've done is uh, health checks. So, you know, just using Paramico and Python scripting to go in and log in, run uh, a set of commands that I would typically run maybe before I do an upgrade, and then take the results of that and write it into a file. So I have that as a kind of before check, and I can do it again as an after check, just say everything's in line after an upgrade and it's looking well. So what's your favorite technology? What do you want people to know that they can come to you with questions about and that you'd like to learn more of? I'm still learning, right? So we're going down the DevNet path here, uh, and it is a journey. And I would say uh, the main things I'm really diving into a lot is Postman, deal a lot with Postman, right? Love taking Postman and being able to take your posts and everything from Postman and turn it right into Python code right there. So that's a tool that, you know, I, I definitely use a lot. What is your favorite thing about being a CISO champion? Uh, the community. It really is a, a great, unique group of people who all have a lot of value to add and are always kind of there for that help question and, you know, are, are kind of a great resource, just even socially. <laughs> Thank you for being part of our community. And what does community mean to you? Uh, community means to me. Uh, community means to me having people you can go ask questions to that you're not afraid to expose, hey, I don't know this. Can someone help me and give me a little guide? Um, so that is what community means to me. And I think in these times, we all have need of a sense of community, right? Absolutely. And, you know, I love that not being afraid to ask for help. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Hashtag Cisco champion. Thanks so much.